Okay, and now let's finally set up a proper list and iterate over it, which will be our actual setup in all the course projects and most likely in all your other projects as well. So yes, finally, we have arrived at the list, which is going to be our typical approach. As I said, now during this video, we'll utilize a array method called map. And if you're not familiar with it, please reference this JavaScript Nuggets video where I cover it in great detail. And essentially, we'll start with refactoring. First, I want to create an array. Uh, in my case, I'm going to call it books. And then let's remove everything from the book list. And after that, I'll show you an error that we're going to get if we try to render objects. So let's get cracking. I'm going to navigate back. I have two objects. Now I want to place them in the array. So I'm going to say const and books. So that's my array. And now let's place both of these objects in there. So we don't need the names anymore. Basically, we can just remove this. And this we can add right away comma. And we can remove this part, as well as the semicolon. So now I have my structure. Effectively, I have an array of items. And each item is that object. Now also, we right away want to remove everything that we have in the book list. Otherwise, of course, we're going to get the error. And now let me showcase what happens if we try to render objects in React. So if I go with the curly, so I'm going back to JavaScript, and I'm going to say books. So I want to access the books variable. And then if we take a look at the console, we'll see these giant error messages. And essentially, here's the deal. In React, we cannot render objects directly in the JSX. And I'm purposely showing you this error because throughout your React journey, when you work with data, here and there you might see this error. So the first thing you want to do is double check the data that you're rendering. If you see objects are not valid as React child, blah, 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 that means you need to double check your data. Essentially, somewhere in your data, you have an object, and we cannot directly display it in JSX. Now, what's the solution? Well, eventually we'll use map method. We'll iterate over, pull out the properties, and one by one, basically pass them to a book component. But before we do that, let me just show you step by step how we can work with arrays in React. So first, let me just remove this error. Again, for time being, we won't see anything on screen. And let's just create a basic array. Let's say const names. And that one is equal to, I don't know, John, Peter, and Susan. Why not? I'm not being particularly original, but hey, it's Thursday. And I think that regular names are good enough. If you want to go and shake and bake, Bobby Lee, of course, you can do that. And if I'm going to go back to my book list, and if I'm going to change, and I'll say names, once I save, I can see that everything is nicely displayed on the screen. So we can definitely render array. But most likely, you will agree with me that it would be nicer if we could wrap these values in some kind of HTML. Because essentially, at the moment, I just have here this string. So again, yes, I'm going to go back to the root. I'll take a look at the book list and notice. Effectively, I just have these string values. So how we can wrap this in some kind of element. So instead of displaying these strings, essentially, we'll display elements. Well, this is where the map method is going to come into play. So let me show you first in the readme. Basically, react method creates a new array from calling a function for every array element. So I have names array. I can use the map method, and I'm going to call a callback function for every item in the array. And this is going to return a new array. And eventually, we'll wrap our items, at the moment these strings, 
in the heading one. So let's try this one out. Back in the index.js, I'm going to go here with const and then new names. Then let's set it equal to names map. So again, this returns a new array. We pass in the callback function. And essentially, the first parameter references the item. So if the item is going to be an object, it will reference the object. If the item is string, it's going to reference that string. And hopefully, we are on the same page. And since it's a parameter, we can name it whatever we want. In my case, I'm going to call this name. And yes, this is the case where you can call this a vegetable. As long as you reference it correctly, you'll be good to go. And before we do anything, let's just see what are those values. So I'll console log. And what do you know? I have John, Peter, and Susan. So those are the string values. And what's really cool that we can effectively just set up a return. And we want to return a HTML element wrapping that specific string. Now, of course, with objects, it's going to be a little bit different. But for now, we simply want to go here with return. And then whatever element you want, in my case, I'm going to go with heading one. And now I want to access it. So now I want to say, you know what, grab me this name parameter. And before we render anything, let me just showcase what is the value for new names. Let's save it. And in the console, you'll see a new array, which is, of course, awesome. And then check it out. Now I have those React elements. So essentially, instead of doing this manually, we iterate over the list, we wrap it in some kind of element, and we're good to go. And as a result, basically, we can just replace names with new names save it. And what do you know? Now I actually have three heading ones with these values. And as you can see, this right away opens up a lot of doors. Because this truly is a dynamic setup. I have some kind of data, which is a list, and I can iterate over that list and return whatever HTML structure I want to see on a screen. Now, don't worry about this key prop effectively we'll fix this warning in a few videos. Also, I want to mention that since we have this option to go back to JavaScript land, essentially, you can also take this code and right away write it over here. Remember, we're looking for expression. So we want to get some kind of value back. And essentially with map, this is what we're getting. So if you don't like setting up the new variable and then accessing it, you can do this directly. So essentially, we're still doing the same thing. The difference right now is that we're writing everything here inside of the component. Again, two flavors, there's no right or wrong. You can use either of these options, the result is going to be exactly the same. Again, we iterate over the list, and we just wrap the elements in some kind of HTML structure. And once we're familiar with the basic setup, up next, we'll take a look how we can do the same thing with our books array.